Pretty, pretty. All right, just now to Kiev, guys. Nobody the end. To bus station. Severny Avtovokzal. Ничего, ничего, ничего. О, восемьдесят. All right, guys. So, I guess this begins another part of the journey. <laughs> this might even be the second video because it's going to take well over 24 hours to get uh, from my starting point in Bucharest to here, Chisinau, and then to Kiev, my final destination. Met some interesting people already on the way, but the journey is only halfway there. So let's continue. But first, I desperately need some coffee and uh, a bathroom. <sighs> you know what? Maybe I'm in luck. I see a bus ticket office and there's buses right here. Can it be that easy? Let's ask. Um, I need to get to Kiev. Kiev? Huh? No, to um, where could I go to find a bus? Kiev? Yeah. Or Ukraine, anywhere. On Ukraine, I have a central bus station. Central bus station? 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 Show uh, more um, no, 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 dollar that must be later. Yeah. Uh, show him a show. Uh, 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 show him a show. Show him a show. Show him a show. Show him a show. Show him a this is Chisinau, Moldovia. The Sama Luci Gorat. It's a problem. Strana, Strana, Strana. Strana. Okay. Strana. This is the best city in all of uh, Moldova. The only big city, really. My original plan was to get some coffee, use the toilet, maybe get some breakfast. But the guy's coworker said there might be a bus at 9 a.m., which is in six minutes to keep. So I'm gonna try to make that to the waiting around to 6 p.m. It's a rush. Let's see if we make it. Alright guys, we just made it. Welcome to North Bus Station. Trying right, to figure out, figure out who's going to Kiev and when. I might be leaving right now. The Vive, the Diesa. All right, it's 9.04 a.m. So let's hope uh, we can find some food. Let's see where these guys are going. Yes, there's a autobus at Kiev. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you know that is there like a ticket cashier office or ticket office? Okay, thank you. There's no more buses. Plus these small ones, but let's uh let's check inside. So she was saying that she saw a few buses to Odessa, which should be okay as well. That's a stop for it, but let's see if we can get one directed to Kiev, guys. 
Okay, it's the first first one, yeah. All right, so at the uh, bus station, they said there is a bus to Kiev, which is good, but I think it leaves at 4 p.m., which is a long time from now. Uh, or I can go to Odessa literally every hour, but it's two hours out of the way. I'm gonna figure out what to do, guys. guys as you can see uh, I'm in the city center of Chisinau decided I have eight hours to kill I don't want to just go to a coffee shop or wait at the bus station the whole time so I'm gonna check into a hostel figure I can take a shower change the clothes brush my teeth I just chill out for a bit the only problem is the taxi driver dropped me off an eight minute walk away from the hostel location so let's go Nice little buildings. Kind of quiet here though. All right. Here's my hostel, guys. Oh, God, this. Nice. Welcome to Ch Chisinau. Capital of Vadova. I've actually been here once, many years ago. And when we asked the reception at the hotel, what they're to do in Chisinau. She said nothing. Literally, she said there was nothing to do. Uh, there's a couple of wine, wineries, wine regions, a few hours away. So we went to one of those. And I went to uh, Tiraspol, which is in Pernistrovia. I have a video about that. And that's it. There's not much to do. And I, th I think it's because when Romania joined the EU, a lot of Moldovans claimed Romanian ancestry so they can get their EU passports so they can move abroad and work. That's why pretty much all the young people have left. So when people turn 18, they go abroad and very few people come back. So this city is a shadow of what it used to be, as you can tell, being this empty in the middle of the city center. All right. Here's the hostel, guys. It looks pretty cool from outside. Hello? Hi, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Is the reception here? You're speaking to me. Okay. Uh, can I get a room or a bed? Um, for how long? Uh, just till 5 p.m. Because I'm full right now, and I and I wouldn't have anything available until after after checkout or checkout time when I get rid of a few people. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you need some, if you need something like right away, yeah. which obviously I can tell you, yeah. you don't tire. Yeah, yeah, I'm exhausted. Yeah. yeah. So guys, <clears throat> I'm not talked to this nice gentleman. It looks like a nice place, but unfortunately they're full. So I'm gonna move to the next one. My journey continues. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be looking for you on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Look for future. it. Look for it. Okay. <laughs> See ya. All right, take care. Take care. Sir. <laughs> All right, guys, a bit of context here. Uh, this guy that was a reception at the hostel, he's not from Madola. <laughs> and that's why he spoke English. Uh, he was a traveler who ended up breaking his leg uh, while in Madola. And he ended up getting a job at this hostel to stay um, you know, for, for a few months while he recovered. <laughs> and that's why he spoke English. But uh, everyone else in Madola so far, I've been able to communicate because I speak a little bit of Russian. And that's in part to this week's sponsor, Rosetta Stone. So big thank you to Rosetta Stone for your awesome online 
learning platform where I've been able to brush up on multiple different languages, including Spanish and Russian, which has helped me tremendously while I traveled. And if it wasn't for speaking some very basic Russian uh, here in Moldova, I don't know how I would have been able to even communicate at the bus station, uh, to be able to buy tickets, to be able to just get around and even just have little conversations with the taxi drivers. So it's been very, very helpful. So if you guys plan on traveling, especially to random countries like Moldova, uh, I highly suggest you check out Rosetta Stone and learn. And what's really cool about Rosetta Stone is it's not like the old school learning from you know grammar classes in school, which I hated. With Rosetta Stone, it's a very intuitive. So sure as you can it's... see, it's like a very natural, intuitive yeah. learning system where instead of just memorizing oh, grammar and things should, like that, you you're actually playing along. It's actually it's it's a fun way to learn. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend it. Uh, and they have a really cool offer for two hundred ninety nine dollars. You can actually get lifetime access, and that means you don't have to pay every month. But what's really cool is if you use my exclusive limited time link in the description below, you actually get 40% off of that, which means for $179, you can get unlimited lifetime access. And this is on top of their 30 day money back guarantee. So if you wanna take advantage of this limited time offer, use my link in the description below. Thank you again to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring, but also helping me navigate through the mean streets of Manova a lot easier. Crazy drivers, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, it is now uh, almost 11 a.m. God, I've been traveling now for so many hours. I'm exhausted. Just want to get a shower and checked in. So hopefully, let's pray. This place has a available room right now. Here we go, guys. Well, that's good, guys. All right, good news. They had a room, so I got one uh, for about eight dollars, and I'm gonna go take a shower now, take a rest. Okay. Number five uh -huh. and number five. Thank you very much. Well, the good news about Hostel City Center is it really is in the city center. So after a shower, I decided to go for a walk and get some coffee, maybe a little brekkie. Let's start with some uh, some coffee here. Oh, this looks good as well. Whoa. Yeah, American, right? Yeah. 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 Just that was actually a nice city. Like it's uh, quite peaceful. There's not that much going on, but I can see why it's a decent place to live. And uh, yeah, it helps I'm able to communicate because uh, everyone here so far has spoken to me in Russian. Uh, so actually, it's a good place for me to practice too because they speak to me really slowly, which is nice. All right, here's my chibaret. By the way, I don't know what material this is, but every time I, ha I have it, I love it. It's like a plastic leaf foil, like a foil or anything, but it, it just works so well. I love it. So guys, guess what I found? I found myself a cat cafe. It just happens to be connected to my hostel, and instead of sitting there and working, checking the email, charging my laptop and my phone, I might as well come here, bring some cats. Look how nice these guys are. Here's Grumpy Cats. Hi, buddy. Looking grumpy. Looking grumpy. What else we got? Oh, 
Oh, here's a really beautiful one. Bengal cat in the basket. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? You're beautiful, you know? Here's a cat in a tree. Meow. Sleepy cat. They're all sleepy. And there's a bunch of cats kind of just everywhere here. There's four of them, I can't eat. They're all sleepy, so I'll let them be. But this is a really cool place. I like it. It's right next to my hostel. I'm so glad I ended up staying here, right in the city center, right across from a cool park where I had a nice little breakfast. Uh, met some interesting people there, had a nice chat, had a nice coffee. And now I'm sitting here, gonna do a little bit of work, charge up my, my stuff, because the train had only one plug and didn't work. So there we go, full recharge, hang out for a bit, and then uh, just for lunch before I go back on the train to go to Kiev. But one day in just an hour. Uh, better than expected. So I don't think I've ever seen an ice Americano that's just an Americano cup with uh, ice and espresso, but I like it, guys. I think this is my new favorite way of having an ice Americano, Madovan style. Hello, my cat friend. This is my day today. Do a little editing and a little cutting. All right, guys, so I just checked out of the hostel and we go downstairs and I'm actually going to meet two friends who I met in Bucharest, in Romania. Uh, and we're going to go have some lunch before we go to the bus station. Look how cool this wall of money is. Alright. Alright. Let's see where these two are. <laughs> Yo! Funny seeing you here in uh, it's just an hour. Nope. So this is uh, the hottest Uber driver in all of uh, just an hour. Show us our future. So is this one? Uh -huh. Or only because I'm not doing Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Yandex. <laughs> okay, or this one. Yeah, let's, do the, Italian. let's do the first one. Yeah, the first one looks nice. Yeah, yeah. Do you have her phone? No. Oh, I have her yeah. phone, yeah. He has it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Five stars for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Ukrainians. Woohoo! Hello. This is Maleta. Yes. And she is our amazing host for the day, or for the next hour, so I have to go to the bus station. <laughs> okay, we're at a place called Uptown, Downtown. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, nice. Nice summer terrace. Oh, I like these watermelon. Uh... I know. Oh, thank you very much. So, what is this soup called? Ziama. Ziama. Yes, it's a traditional Moldovan soup. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And what's inside? Uh, all the kind of veggies that you can think of. There's no meat? No, there is meat. Oh. It's chicken meat. Okay, good. Um, so, it has to be fat to be nice. And then it has a mm. special sour liquid that we have. <laughs> and we just add it at the end to make it sour. Okay. So it's not sweet. Oh, um, that's right. And also it has some kind of pasta, but it's homemade pasta. So okay. we have our own way of making it. Nice. Okay. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Pofta buna. Pofta buna. Need to add sour cream as well. Oh, smetana. Mm -hmm. You want smetana? I want to try it first without the sour cream. Yeah. It's funny, it tastes like Chinese sweet and sour soup. <laughs> mm. yum, yum, yum. Very tasty, but it literally tastes like a Chinese soup, like an Asian soup. Rating? Oh. Let me, well, let me try it with this sour cream I mean, first. if you uh -huh. speed, my mom makes the best one. Mm. Maybe you're gonna try it. Mm. Do you like soups at all? 
I like my grandmother's soups. Oh. Very tasty. I'm surprised this goes well with sour cream. Like, it doesn't seem like it would because it's yeah. sour, but it makes it really good. Recommended. Cut the mood over, guys. Thank you. Uh huh. Gonna die. <laughs> oh. She has sensitive, uh, what yeah. is it? Look at this, I don't even know how I got it. Oh my god. Oh my god, ouch. Now there's gonna be another one. <laughs> yeah. All right, what about you guys? I gotta eat and then go it. to the bus station. This yeah. is a traditional Asian walk from Madoma. <laughs> 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 so I would say, really nice setting, nice food, great company, the best. Welcome to Moldova and Thank come back. Much. I will have to come back because I didn't get to try the Mama Linga. It's Mama Liga. Mama Liga. Oh, that's the one that's Yeah, that's the one thing I gotta come back for, so. Whatever, let's go to the bus plus station. Plus wine, plus women, plus. Oh, Moldova women, are they, the, are they the best? Are they the best? The scenery looks pretty good from here, so. Yeah, exactly. As you guys can see. <laughs> okay, Yandex driver to Nord, bus station Nord is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> the Mendovan flag? Yeah, that's nice. The, the eagle with the bull and uh -huh. the flower. And I know she knows. Back at the bus station, bus depot. Uh, just anywhere here is okay. Just on the side. Want us just to leave you? Well, we can park here and just walk with me. Oh, thank you. We're good, we're not gonna park. That's the next driver ever. We're gonna come with you, no? Okay. To Kiev, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. all the way. Okay, let's go. I need an escort. He's got his shorts, he's ready to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a bodyguard, babe. Uh huh. I hope to God there's air conditioning on the bus. <laughs> Uh -huh. no, we always have it on the bus. Yeah, trains, trains maybe not, yeah. You think it says? I hope it's the big one. Be more comfortable. Let's check. Keep, keep, keep. Yeah, it's the big one. Yeah. Should we bring him with us? Yeah, bring him, bring him. Hey, you want to come to Kiev? Hey, buddy. You want to come to Kiev? It's like you better have some food. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm happy it's a big bus. It's hopefully uh, lay down a bit to sleep. It's, it's been a long journey. It's uh, 6 p.m. now, and we're not supposed to get there until 7 or 8. That's 12 or 13 hours. We're going to work in a tent, it's free tent. Thank you so much. You guys that always... The farmer tent? Yeah. What do you have? Yeah. No, yours no, is okay. I'm a, I'm you're, a, you're a real tent. Real tent. I'm serious about my tent. I always move when the sun... Oh, moves. really? Yeah. That's one that is facing the sun. True beauty. <laughs> Sunflower. Oh, yeah. Sunflower. That's Ukraine's uh, national flower. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh, what? Kiev. 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 I would figure it out, but it's easier. Yeah. He's lost his phone in Romania as well. So we went on a trip. So you missed the zone, 42? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Check it. Would I check? Thank you. All right, stay, let's go. Nah, can you get the girl waiting for you? I know. Get it, boy. Bye guys, Safe thank travels. you for today. Ciao, ciao. Bye.
Okay. Package. Uh, no, maybe Mosna here or? Okay. Me too. Boarding. Boarding, okay. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are just leaving just an hour now, and hopefully in uh, 12 hours we'll be in Kiev or in Ukraine. Guys, so we made a little pit stop. We're in a random town called Balti. I think we drove two hours, but we're now even further from Kiev than we were before, which explains why it's going to take 13 hours to get to, uh, to Ukraine, even though Google Maps said it's only going to take eight. But I think maybe where the border crossing is, or I'm sure they have their reasons. I'm, sure, I'm sure they're not just driving out of the way uh, to waste fuel. So it's going to be a long trip, guys. But uh, maybe get a little snack before we go back in the bus. Except for this fast food, doesn't have any fast food. Anyways, I decided to get a shawarma. I really wanted some fried chicken over, but nothing's made. So it looks like a uh, rest wraps. So here it looks like you can go to a place called Lassi, which is very popular, I don't know what that is. Uh, Polzam, which I think is Poland, Berlin in Germany, Bucharest, uh, and Russia. <laughs> That's it. I don't know where everyone's going. Bucharest, Chisinau. All right, guys, so we are all stamped in to Ukraine. We got our passports back. She's having them uh, back. And uh, yeah, now we have like a nice seven hour straight drive to Vinitsa to Kiev. We are in Ukraine, guys. Oh, yeah, too. <laughs> Just past midnight. Good morning, guys. It's 4 a.m. We're in a small city, medium city, what we call Zatomar, which is an hour and a half outside of Kiev. So, this is our last and final stop. Gas station, use the bathroom, got a little water. And I'm uh, get back on the bus. I think we're gonna get there pretty early. 5.36. All right, so we got one and a half more hours. It's actually pretty comfortable, but still, it's a bus.
this is the last station. Maybe we are the last one. Oh, okay. Sure, you sure. Oh, this is it. Guys, that is it. I am back in Kiev, Ukraine, my my new home, my old home for the war. <sighs> yeah, Doma, the Kiev. It's uh 5:50 a.m. just before 6 a.m. I actually could have got out 20 minutes ago. We just went around the city, but I didn't know which stops there were. So I'm the same distance away, but here's my bag. Oh. Here's a bunch of taxis, but I'm gonna call Uber. Welcome home to Kiev. Yeah. It was a long journey. Yeah, thanks God. We arrived. Yeah, but we, we are early. Yes, we came early, yeah. Yes, very fast, yes, right? Very fast and very safe. And very safe. Thanks God. Yeah. Are you happy to be home? Yes. Yes, of course. Long time I didn't came. How, before the war? Before one year. Wow. Yeah, one year. Well, welcome home yes. to, to home. <laughs> welcome back to Kiev. <laughs> so many happy people. Oh. Rest see families reunited again. So I don't think there is a, um, a taxi coming for me. So I'm going to try to take the metro because it's 6 a.m. now. I've been waiting for a while. So guys, I really wasn't planning on taking the metro home. Uh, I had no idea where, the, where it stopped. I kind of assumed it would stop at the, the central bus station, but it stopped on one side of the city, which I could have got off because I was, I'm basically an equal distance uh, to my house in the center. We drove for 20 or 30 minutes. We were on the other side of the city. Uh, there was no taxis available. And yeah, there was zero bolts available. And the Uber, it finally accepted, but the guy didn't move for 10 minutes. So, <sighs> Metro is kind of my only choice, guys. Luckily, it's not far away. But this definitely wasn't part of the plan to prolong the adventure. Rather, have been home half an hour or an hour ago. I guess on the good hand, I get to ride the Metro again. It's been a long time. All right, I'm gonna be getting off at Lavo Plosha Lavoita store. Oh my God, guys. We arrived in Keep at 5.30, so half an hour ago. I could've just got off and taken a taxi from there. Well, actually, well, maybe I would've got stuck. Maybe there would've been no taxis there either. I wouldn't have been near a metro, so maybe everything works out. All right, the train is here, guys. Alright guys, we made it. Alright, it's almost 6.30 in the morning, but uh, I'm very close to home. Probably a 15 minute walk from here, so... Alright, here we go guys. We are back on my favorite street in Kiev, in the world. Welcome home. Welcome to Kiev. For a second, I thought maybe it was too early in the morning for McDonald's to be open. Then I remembered they left Ukraine during the war on the first day and they haven't been back since. But at least Russia doesn't have it anymore. So now I feel okay. I was just pissed when people were eating Big Macs and the uh, in Moscow and, and St. Petersburg when we didn't get it here. But, uh, these other trains haven't come back yet either. It is very early in the morning, so I'm sure that's why there's literally no one on the street, but I'm sure I'll make a update for you guys in the next couple of videos to show how life is either returned to normal or, or hasn't, so. Let's get home for now. I just want to check on my house. It's the most important thing on my mind. Here I am, guys. Back to my street. 
So it's 6.30 a.m. Sunday. I left Bucharest, I think it was 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. on Friday to take the night train. In total, if you do the math, it's been a 36 hour journey to get home. What used to be a two hour flight, it's now taking 36 hours because of Russia's war. This is the main reason why I didn't want to come back. Because I knew once I'm here, it's so hard to get out again. If I, I postponed for so long, even though I knew I wanted to get back, I knew once I'm here, I'm here, guys. Let's go upstairs. Let's check out my apartment. missile strike killed at least a dozen people. Ukraine's national police say an office and residential buildings were hit. Tom Sufi Burridge has the latest. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, morning, George. Details are still emerging, but we're seeing absolute devastation at the scene. This video posted by President Zelensky and verified by ABC News. There are images emerging this morning which are too shocking to show, including a baby stroller amongst the carnage. The death toll rising all morning. Ukrainian officials now saying at least 20 people have been killed, including a baby, 50 people seriously injured. And what's also shocking is that it happened mid-morning in busy downtown Vinnytsia. That's a city southwest of Kiev. Many Ukrainians have moved there with their families to get away from the fighting in the east, thinking it was a relative safe zone. The horrific scene circulating online, a reminder that really no part of this country is immune from Russia's invasion. President Zelensky calling it yet another act of Russian terrorism.